souls i hope you're doing so good welcome back to the vlog today is monday it's the start of the week and i just got ready i'm going to get breakfast and then i will go to the lab and i decided to take you along today with me so let's see what i'm up to enjoying the view more than I should because I'm getting late to work so I need to go but I don't want to give up on this view so yeah anyway I haven't done my breakfast yet but I'm not gonna finish it now I'm already feeling full so now let's go to work and later I will just finish this bowl I hope it's not too loud and I hope you can still hear me so basically these days I am between two labs and I'm basically between my work for the PCs and then my other work and it's just like really really getting so busy for me during the week and I only have the weekend to like relax so last weekend i just i did nothing i honestly just chilled at home and then at night we went to the majlis but basically just like getting to a new routine even though it's been like two months but it, it's not easy i don't know it's like really new to me to work every day but like in general i'm really enjoying everything even like the ride from home to work and then back home is okay to be honest because I'm just listening to podcasts and I also have like my book with me all the time and I just like read or listen to podcasts and it's really fun and then the other day I just met this Iraqi woman and she was like so sweet she was like asking me where I work and all of that and then like she told me that she is also a professor and that she has uh, done her PhD here in Germany. She like got a scholarship from Iraq to come here and she did that. And then she brought her family with her, like her little daughter. You know what? I'm actually really always happy to see like hijabi women or just like Muslim women who are highly educated who work on themselves and at the same time like they have a family and like this is so beautiful to be honest it really makes me so proud and i always feel so happy when i see like these girls working hard on themselves and like getting a high education doing their phd and masters 
And yeah, and also about the topic of representing hijabi girls and having this big responsibility on my shoulders. It's like the other day there was an event and I always make sure to attend all of the events, all of the scientific events that are happening um, here and there. Because I always know like I will definitely be the only hijabi there. I just love to represent us and to show like the world that we are educated, that we can do so much. And it feels so good to be honest. I feel like I'm really, really blessed to be in this position in life. And like, even if it doesn't matter to anyone, it matters to me and it just makes me so happy. So I'm just doing some measurements and I was like, just looking if it's ready to go, but it's not. So yeah, what else do I want to tell you? Also about attending events. The other day when I was like attending an event and I had worked on a poster, it was like posters event and I was with my supervisor and then like people would come read about our poster, talk to us and they would introduce themselves. And then I was standing alongside with my supervisor and then this man came and he was like very like friendly with us and he was like talking with my supervisor it seemed like they were friends like they knew each other but then he introduced himself to me and then he gave me his hand and for a moment i was like a little bit like hesitant because i looked at my uh, at my supervisor and i didn't want to make it like um embarrassing for any of them so I just like put my hand on my chest and I like said, hi, I'm Kosar and I work on this and this. So it wasn't like embarrassing. It was like, just, okay, you don't like shake hands. And then an hour later, he came back and he was like talking to me directly. He was telling me, don't forget to send us your poster. And he was like, just asking me some little details about what I did. Um, and what kind of work I made in this poster. So yeah, like people will just don't care if you don't shake hands with them. Some of them, of course, do. Some of them really get offended, but it's not like something that I control. It's just like my religion and you have to respect that. And I know it's not easy. I really do understand it. And you like sometimes get really stressed, especially in like big events. Like if you are one on one, like at the doctor's office or something like that, it's OK. Like you can go with it. Like you put your hand on your chest and you would say like, I don't shake hands, blah, blah, blah. But then like in really big events, like graduating, for example, I know it gets really messy sometimes and very stressful for us because you like have to shake hands with all of your professors and people are giving you like your certificate and everything. So it's not easy. But what I did during my graduation ceremony for my bachelor's is that I actually went to my professor and the one in charge and I told him like, I do not shake hands and I was at the time with my friend so we told him that we don't shake hands and just like when you see a hijabi just don't shake hands we really respect you and we really understand that in your tradition you shake hands but in our religion we don't and it's not okay for us to do so but like we always had a really big smile and like we approached from far away putting our hand already on our chest and then like we had a really big smile and we said like thank you and all of that and it was really friendly but we didn't shake hands so that is something like you could try just like when you know that you will be put in this position don't be sorry first don't get stressed just try to stay calm because I know it's stressful and then from far away just like put your hand on your chest and have a really big smile on your face and just like say hello how are you all doing blah 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 
and you can like greet people and all of that and it would have been like the biggest problem because even like with my teammates like where i'm working right now in the master's thesis like one of them wanted to like shake hands with me and then i told him oh i don't shake hands and now we are really friends like there isn't like any problems between us so it's not like a really big deal people understand this especially when people are like around so many cultures and i feel like because of the internet people are getting more used to this idea okay let me just like wrap this up because i'm just scrambling a lot and my camera is about to die so what i wanted to say is like just like relax there is nothing you have to be sorry about and i never say sorry okay like i always try to say oh i don't shake hands like this is not in my religion blah 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 but i never say sorry because it's just like my religion and i'm not sorry for that i know it's hard i've been through so many situations but right now when i grew up i like figured out what works for me and i'm really sure you will find what works for you best now let me go to continue work Salam you guys, how are you doing? So today is Friday Last time I filmed it was Monday But then I fell sick and I was really really super tired I couldn't film anything But today I am healthy again Alhamdulillah I feel so good, I am so motivated I just finished working in the lab And if someone sees me he wouldn't believe like it's Friday The end of the week It was too much to be honest and I was so busy that I even forgot to eat. And then I just found out that I haven't eaten anything 
aside from breakfast except for a really small piece of chocolate but anyway I was too busy and I would say alhamdulillah for being busy because I'm super grateful to be here and to have the ability to work and have such a nice and amazing team even like my professor today she told me you don't have to stress about work in the lab and you don't have to overdo it just relax don't think a lot of it and it would be like good to have something else other than lab work these days so i told her okay don't worry about me i have way too many other projects on the side and i also told her that i'm a youtuber so she was oh my god she was so happy and um she really encouraged me and she told me like even when she was doing her phd she wanted someone to encourage her and motivate her because she was like the only asian girl woman in a Europe country doing her PhD which is so cute I really love my professor um, she's a very inspiring person and seeing that now I'm also like trying to show other girls their hijabis that you can do it you can like educate yourself and get really high education with your hijab on she was really inspired and she was really happy to see me doing that and alhamdulillah i felt really motivated to film more and be more consistent i really wanted to be consistent with youtube but you know like i was sick for over two weeks now but now i'm back so the thing is i also filmed and edited two other videos a day in my life and then we went on a vacation for three days road trip actually to Amsterdam and I filmed a lot but yeah I don't know I'm not sure if I want to post that video let me know if you would want to see that right now I'm going home I will eat something I already have like my lunch box with me um, I will eat at home and then we are gonna go to the majlis because it's Ashura and we are going to the majlis every day at like 7 p.m. so I will take you with me today and I will show you the vibes Alhamdulillah we have an amazing majlis this year the group and our mosque are working so hard to make it possible and yeah I'll just take you with me today inshallah and I will show you everything and yeah now let's go home Thank you. 